And first at five, a story that has a lot of you parents talking this evening nationwide, including right here on the First Coast. Students are planning to walk out of school for 17 minutes to protest gun violence. And that walkout happening tomorrow following the school shooting in Parkland, Florida last month, which of course took the lives of 17 people. Now tomorrow will mark one month since that mass shooting. And today thousands of shoes lined the lawn outside the U.S. Capitol representing children killed by gun violence since that Sandy Hook school shooting. Some 7,000 shoes creating a temporary memorial called Monument for Our Kids on the Southeast Lawn, a group of activists using the shoes to illustrate how many American children were lost to gun violence since December 14th of 2012. First Coast News reporter Nick Perot joins us now live with how parents along the First Coast are reacting tonight. Nick. Heather, Anthony, yes, this is something where essentially it really determined who you talk to. I talked to some that didn't want to talk to me on camera that said they were kind of indifferent on the movement. Others said they didn't want to talk on camera but wanted to applaud those that are participating in the movement tomorrow. Really, it's all a matter of who you talk to, but happy nonetheless that this movement is going on tomorrow all across the country, not just here in Florida. These students today are walking outside for a field trip. Wednesday, many though will be walking out of the classroom in support of Parkland school shooting victims in hopes to see change to gun laws. I set out in Jacksonville to get the adults' perspective on the movement. They're making a stand and they're voicing their opinion and they should be heard. Curtis Coleman simply supports the movement gaining momentum across the country. Once it starts getting national attention, maybe f the folks in uh, on the political side of the house will uh, We'll, we'll, we'll see how important this is. There's got to be a way to keep the schools safer. Over at the Friendship Fountain, more parents agree Washington needs to listen to these students. Something has to be done. Jeanette Egan says if it takes students to make that happen, support. She's all for it. They need our government to start listening. There need to be new laws. Things have to change. Yeah, I love it. I think it's great seeing the young people unite. I mean, they're the ones that have to deal with this threat, like truthfully every day, you know, to watch people that are their age have to go through that. Well, I saw you guys rolling down the hill. Mother Jessica Stewart applauds the movement and says most students know exactly what tomorrow is all about. They get what happened and they watch their peers, people their age, you know, heard their emotions and saw their tears. Like that's real to them. They do know what they're going through. You know, they're not walking out to go play at the park or play hooky. Well, some may have moved on past Parkland, Stewart believes the idea of needing change in gun laws remains center stage with these student walkouts. The news cycle has moved on to another story, but this is their life and they're living with it and they're trying to make something happen and make some changes. And back here live, so there you have it, variance of opinion and with parents I've talked to as well as other adults that don't have children weighing in on this topic. As you can imagine, a wide range of emotion and opinion when it comes to this issue. Reporting live tonight in Jacksonville, Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side. Hmm. Nick, thank you. And we have been calling school districts across the First Coast to see how they will be responding to students who participate in that walkout tomorrow. Duval and St. John's County Schools said that each school will have a plan. Students will not face disciplinary action as long as they follow the rules and remain peaceful. As for Putnam County Schools, they will have safety zones for students. Teachers will be remaining in the classroom with students who are not participating. And in Camden County, those school districts, those schools rather, say that students are expected to be at all required school functions. Now, Glenn County is encouraging students to express their feelings to 17 people throughout the school day. Nassau County has not responded to our request, and Clay and Columbia County Schools are on spring break. 